Happy New Year, you guys. I was not expecting to film this video, to be honest. It's actually New Year's Eve, December 31st. I am getting ready to go out for New Year's Eve. My goal in this video is to not cry. That is my goal. <laughs> I'm confident that I can do it. This is not gonna be a regular makeup tutorial. This video is not about the makeup at all. I am, however, going to get ready as I film this. But the makeup is gonna be really simple because I have a feeling that I might be emotional at midnight or something weird. So just in case, if I am, I don't wanna have a ton of makeup on and like it like going everywhere. So today, I just really wanted to just get on here and talk to you guys and um, just touch base a little bit because it's been a few weeks, I guess, since I last spoke to you guys about something really personal that's going on in my personal life. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you could click on this video right here to check it out. A few people on Instagram were messaging me and saying stuff like, wow, you look like you're doing so much better. It's so great to see you so happy and chipper and you know, it just seem like you're so much happier. And I was kind of shocked because I was like, wow, is that the impression that I'm giving? Like, I am so good at faking it <laughs> because I definitely was not feeling like that. I was nowhere near feeling that. And it kind of just made me feel fake. <laughs> it made me feel a little fake. And I guess to a certain degree, that's what social media is. But I felt really bad because I was thinking about, you know, so many of you guys, hundreds of you guys message me saying that you're going through the same thing. And just this thought of one of you watching all of my stuff on Instagram and whatever and thinking like, wow, she's doing so much better. How come I'm not doing better? That made me feel so bad because that just wasn't the case. I was not okay at all. The reality was that the last few weeks have been some of the hardest weeks of my life. Um, a lot of crying, a lot of crying. And I know in my last video I said, oh, you know, I can't cry anymore, I don't have any tears left. That wasn't true. There was still a lot of tears left, um, a lot of pain. And kind of like a roller coaster you know one minute i'm thinking i'm doing okay then the next minute i feel like everything's falling apart so that's what the last few weeks have been like it's been a lot of this very emotional and i went home for the holidays to visit my family and it was great it was amazing to connect with my family and that made me really happy but at the same time i was very lonely I felt very alone during that time as well, just thinking about stuff. And I was doing a lot of thinking. I was thinking about just everything that happened and hoping that with time, you know, we would get back together. <laughs> That's definitely what I was hoping for. And Finally realizing that that's never gonna happen. That it was 100% over. And that was really hard. And I know that in my last video, I said it was over, but I didn't actually believe it was over. <laughs> I definitely had a lot of hope that, you know, somehow we would come back to each other. But now I know 100% that it's done. But this video is not about that, you guys. This video is about something so much bigger and so much more important. This is about this reality that we live in now that's so skewed and can be really toxic. And it's this social media driven reality that we live in. It really hit me hard when I got those messages. I was going out and I was doing all these things and I was going to these events and going to these parties and posting about it. Every time I went somewhere, every time I did something, I posted about it because that's what social media is. You're sharing all of the good stuff. But what I didn't share was me sitting at home, bawling my eyes out me driving in the car the second I leave the party, crying by myself. I'm not gonna post that. And 
to be honest, I didn't really feel like I could. I didn't feel like it was the place to be like super emo and to share stuff that way. I just, I just didn't even feel like I could. So no wonder everyone thought that I was doing so great and that I'm so much happier and like I'm doing so much better. No wonder they thought that because they had no reason not to because all they saw was the good stuff. And that's what I really want to stress to you guys and to share with you guys today in this video because that is what social media is. You're only ever seeing a tiny part of the story. You're never seeing the whole story. You're never seeing the whole truth of everything that's going on in that person's life, behind that picture. You're never getting the whole story. I was posting all these things and people thought that everything was great and it wasn't not even close but that's all people saw because they weren't getting the whole story and this is something that affects all of us all the time and it's kind of impossible for it to not affect us because we're just looking at this stuff all the time and no matter what it's going to affect the way we think and it's going to affect the way we feel and the other crazy part is that i'm just as guilty i am part of it i kind of feed the beast but I still look at stuff and I still think they look so happy. Why can't we be like them? Why can't I have what she has? Why can't I look like her? I'm just as guilty. We all have those thoughts. Social media makes it very easy for us to look at other people and in a way envy them and want what they have and think that the grass is greener and to feel like what we have is not good enough. And I think it's even extra hard for us in the beauty community, the beauty space. I look at these other girls and I think, wow, she's got the perfect face or the perfect body. I wish I can look like that. And I started to think, you know, well, maybe if I change this or if I get this done to myself or if I do this, then I'll, you know, look like them and I'll feel better. I'm a pretty confident person. So the fact that I was thinking that way and I was feeling that way, like I can't imagine someone who maybe isn't as confident as me, like I can't imagine what it's like for them. It just makes me sad. It makes me sad because when you're looking at these other people's lives, we can't envy them, we can't want what they have and wish that we were them in some way. What we're seeing is just not reality. It's not, it's just such a small, tiny part of the story. But it's so easy to get sucked into it because it's part of our everyday life now. If you feel this way at any time, and if you do, please share it in the comments below. If you do feel this way at any time, maybe change your perspective a little bit. And I know that's something that I'm gonna be working on a lot this year. And I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but as I'm talking to you, I'm really talking to myself as well. Especially when things were difficult with Alex, you know, I would look at other couples on Instagram and I would think, why can't we have what they have? And that's crazy because I know people looked at us and thought that. And... <laughs> What makes us so special is the things that are different about us. I love the motto of do you boo and do what makes you happy. But I think the message that I really want to share for 2018 is be happy with what you have and love what you have. For me, I am trying to reconnect with the strong person that I know I am, that I feel I've lost a little bit in the last little while. I am setting new goals for 2018 and you know it was really hard the last little while it was really hard to force myself not to just stay home every single day and be depressed it was really hard to fight against that and force myself to go out and see my friends I'm glad I did that because it really helped and I kept myself really busy with work and there was a lot of days where I just didn't want to do any work stuff and I had to really push myself and force myself to just get up and do it. I genuinely believe all of this happened for a reason. Although this was all so hard, this is what was meant to happen. That relationship just wasn't meant to be. And it was a very hard lesson, a very, very hard lesson, but a lesson I had to learn. I know that I have to move forward and 
I want to move forward. I'm excited about moving forward. I don't know about excited, that might be a bit much. <laughs> but I'm very open and ready to move forward. I really believe that I'm going to meet someone new who is the right person for me. And I do want to end this video on a very, very positive note and to let you guys know that we are going to kill 2018. Like seriously, kill it. There are so many exciting things, including one that I am going to announce tomorrow on my channel. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is right now. You have to come back tomorrow, but uh, you guys can guess and I'll give you a clue. It's something that has been on my wish list for a long time. I've talked about it so many times on my channel, hoping that it would happen one day and it finally happened. And um, I can't believe it and I'm so excited because I get to share it with you guys tomorrow. And it would have never happened if it wasn't for you guys. So I'm so beyond, like I definitely think it's fate that all of this happened the way it did when it did and starting the new year and being able to share this with you is just, it's all meant to be. So be sure to come back tomorrow to check out that video. Um, your support means everything. And like I said, we are going to kill 2018. It is gonna be the best year ever. We're going to do everything we can to make it the best. And you know, I just wanna say, even though I really didn't feel like I can like be emo on Instagram or Snapchat or anything else or Twitter or anywhere, I feel very grateful that for some reason I feel like I can open up to you guys here on YouTube. And I generally never thought that this is what I would be sharing on my YouTube channel, but for whatever reason, that's what's happening. And it's really crazy to think that little old me sitting in front of my camera in Vancouver, in Toronto, in Los Angeles, is reaching girls all around the world. Like every country you can imagine. And you know, if you guys want in the comments below, let me know what your country you're from because it's pretty amazing. And I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful. And um, this year has been one for the books. I'll say that. I know that 2018, we are going to kill it. And we're going to do it together. Happy New Year. <laughs> whatever, whatever country you're in, wherever you are right now watching this video, I'm truly sending out positive vibes to all of you. I can't wait to share this whole new year with you. Thank you so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.